Welcome to the Robot Millennium movie regarding shell analysis. In this movie we're going to look at the many many different options that are available for defining surface finite elements in three dimensions inside Robot Millennium. The first option here is the definition of a box structure in three dimensions. As you can see, such a structure is easily defined inside robot. We can now generate some elements on the structure and refine them as we have seen in previous movies. Now we move on to the generation of some curved 3D structures. We can take the curve and make an extrusion from the curve to form a small cylinder. Having made that cylinder, we can now scale it. And again, make another extrusion. In such a way, some fairly complex shapes can be made inside the Robot Millennium interface. And now moving on to the chimney cooler. The next example of using 3D surface elements in robot. Firstly define a curve. And we're now going to use the revolve function to extrude a surface from the curve that we have already defined. Like so. And as previously, we can now simply mesh that structure inside robot.
For particularly different ge difficult geometry, we can make the structure geometry inside a CAD application, such as AutoCAD, and then import the geometry directly inside Robot Millennium. And now for another example. Again, extrude the shape as we have previously seen. In such an example, we are trying to show something like, for instance, a tunnel structure. So having extruded the shape, we can now revolve a part of it. And again, extrude in another direction. And maybe revolve again. One can see it is very simple to make such simple, such complex geometry using simple commands inside robot. Now moving on to some more advanced functions, we can see the possibility of using Boolean operations inside robot. In such a case, the exact geometry of the combination of the two tubes is calculated automatically inside the software. There are many, many options inside the Boolean operations function of robot. Having generated the geometry of the structure, it is now a simple task to mesh the model as we...